Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Let me ask you something. Do you know how annoying it is for you to see YouTubers recommend or talk about a product and not mention very important details that might upset you with your purchase? Does this sound familiar? Well, in this case, it was the combination of the Canon EOS R and the Automos Ninja 5, or how people call it Ninja V. I know you've seen the videos. Oh man, the baby C200. Canon 10 bit colors and ProRes, blah, blah, blah. You all seen the videos. I don't have to tell you anything, okay? Yes, it is an amazing combination. Don't get me wrong, I own it. But, but, one thing they failed to mention is the white balance calibration that comes in your Ninja 5 straight out of the box. Straight out of the box, the image of the Ninja 5 is warmer. As you can see in this video, everything is warmer. And this can cause you a big problem if you are not careful. And the sad thing is that you won't be able to change it in the settings. There's no settings to configure the white balance in your screen. This device is not cheap. This recorder still costs $599 by itself or 1200 bucks if you get it with a combo with the one terabyte SSD mini. So imagine how pissed I was when I saw a warm image that was not the correct representation of my actual image. But enough talking. You are watching this video to learn how to correct it. So let's just do that. But before we jump into that, make sure you show this video some love, you know, by liking the video. And if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. So another thing, and this is going to get you even more upset. This issue can be fixed, but it's not cheap depending on your situation. You have to calibrate your Ninja 5, but in order to do that, you need to buy this really expensive USB to LAN calibration cable. And that cable will cost you a hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Or you can do what I did. I purchased the USB-C version, which is $65, and got myself a USB-C to USB-8 adapter on Amazon, and it was cheaper that way. It was way cheaper than paying a hundred dollars. And by the way, if I'm not mistaken, this, at this specific moment when I'm recording this video, only works on Windows. So, if you don't have a computer with a USB Type-C and you still want to go my cheap route, remember to buy that USB-C to USB-8 adapter, okay? Remember that. And, and, if that wasn't enough, are you ready to get even more upset? You need an x i i1 Display Pro Monitor Calibrator. And if you don't own it, that will cost you an additional $250. So fixing this issue will cost you about $300 to $350. In my case, I already own the i1 Display Pro since I use it to calibrate my monitors to get the best possible colors when I'm color correcting and color grading projects. You can also send your monitor to the Atomos Tech Center, I believe, to get it calibrated. But good luck on that in the middle of this pandemic. All right, enough talking. Let me show you how to get this issue fixed. All right, so here we are. We're getting ready now to go ahead and calibrate this uh, Ninja 5 monitor. We're getting ready to do this. But um, before we even get started, one thing you need to know is that you need to turn on your Ninja 5 and leave it on for more than 30 minutes. Um, I almost recommend that you leave it on for best results when calibrating the screen. You have to leave it on for more than 30 minutes. All right. So you have your Spencer cable that you bought and you have your i1 display pro calibrator all right so what we're going to do first is actually place your ninja 5 in a good position where it's actually flat so you can be able to put the i display pro right on top of it okay so you have it ready uh, you're gonna connect your very expensive cable all right and you're gonna open the sensor of your i1 display pro and just leave it on top of it and you have it right in the center okay next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open the atomos calibrator you can download the atomos calibrator from the atomos site just searching um monitor calibrator if you google it it will come up all right so once you connect your expensive cable everything is connected what you're going to do is going to go ahead and click the tag 
And as you can see, it detected the Ninja 5. And we're going to press calibrate. Again, it says, uh, please allow monitor to, uh, to warm up approximately 30 minutes before proceeding. We already did that. It's already warm. We click on yes. And now you're going to see that the monitor is going to start changing different colors and it's going to actually calibrate now. Now it's updating the gamma data. And the calibration is complete. Now it has been completed to the D65 white point. And if you have any more data, it actually shows the output. It shows the gray tracking. And that's it. We are done. And now our white balance on our Ninja 5 is now correct. So again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And if you like the content, just make sure you subscribe for more content like this coming forward. All right. Take care. And we'll see you on the next video.